nervous? Yes, a little. Always am before a show. My name is Neil, and I am your storyteller this afternoon. This is the, one of the first stories I ever told uh, when I graduated from the International School of Storytelling, which is in England. Sadly, an Irishman had to go to England to learn how to tell stories, but that's another story. I hope you like it. Once upon a time there was Irish ways and Irish laws Villages of Irish blood Waken to the morning Waken to the morning The High King of Ireland was worried for he had just lost his royal runner. Now the royal runner was a most important post in ancient Ireland. For it was his job to run to the north, run to the south, run to the east and run to the west. Searching our coastline for footprints in the sand. Invaders. The Vikings. The English. I was terrible in school. I was bottom of every single class. But there was one day a year when I shone. That was sports day. Because I too was fast. On your mark. Please help me Lord. I will do anything. <laughs> Set. Anything. Anything at all. And I ran 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 and I ran. May I tell you my tale? It begins in 1980. I was 14 years of age. And that very same travel company in Dublin gave me a summer job. I was the office boy. And after a year, they promoted me. Front counter of head office. I got a uniform. Blue navy blazer. Red shirt, white tie. Company colours, don't you know. And a pair of grey slacks. Farah. <laughs> the best money could buy. And I remember our retail in the 80s. And people used to come in. Normally the lady of the household. And we would sit across the counter looking at the brochures. And I always knew a sale was coming. When she'd offer me a cigarette and I'd take it and we'd light and smoke together looking at the brochure <laughs> Bella Medina is nice this time of year Fungarola Santa Panza is great and I got promoted again supervisor Assistant manager, Ooh. manager, Ooh. general manager, Ooh. director, Ooh. managing director. Ooh. That little journey only took 20 years. <laughs> so there I was in my glass and oak office. But I hadn't a clue what to do. The recession had arrived. And the pressure was horrific. And then Robbie. Robbie stuck his head in one day. Let me tell you about Robbie. He was from the other side of the tracks, as they say. A wheeler dealer. 
in his Gucci shoes, green and red buckled, designer jeans and white open top. Hugo Boss jacket. We've done business for years. How are you, Neil? He said that day. You're looking a little pressurised. I am, Robbie. What is it? I have a little deal that'll make you a lot of money. Well, Friday arrived. And myself and Pat walked over the Hapenny Bridge to Dame Street. Where we were brought down to a vault below the bank. And they handed me 180,000 euros in cash. It was this size. 500 euro notes in a white envelope. And I put it in my top pocket. And I walked outside to the car park where Robbie was sitting in the back of a taxi. Well, the recession went on unabated. It got worse and worse and worse. I don't really know what happened next. How quickly can you run around our island? And Quilcher looked at his king in the eye and replied, As quickly as it takes a woman to change her mind. <laughs> well, the High King loved this answer. When will you go? he said. And Quilcher replied, I have already returned. <laughs> Thank you. That's all you want as a storyteller. Deep listening, absolute silence. And um, I told the best I can and, and they really responded. So, I mean, that's, that's worth everything.